Hello, and welcome back to the Web3 IP Lawyers channel. I'm your host, the Web3 IP Lawyer. In today's video, we're discussing the statement of policy issued by the United States Copyright Office on March 16, 2023, regarding the examination and registration of works containing material generated by artificial intelligence AI, technology. Join us as we explore the background, the office's application of the human authorship requirement, and guidance for copyright applicants in this emerging area. As always, if you like what you hear and see, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, or leave a comment. Okay, let's get started. Background The United States Copyright Office is responsible for administering the copyright registration system and advising on copyright matters. With the rise of AI technology, there is a need to clarify how the office evaluates and registers works that incorporate AI-generated content. The March 16, 2023 guidance the U.S. Copyright Office recently issued addresses the distinction between human-authored and AI-generated material and provides guidance for copyright applicants. The Human Authorship Requirement In its guidance, the office emphasized that copyright protection extends only to material that is, the product of human creativity. This requirement is supported by legal precedents and the Copyright Act, which excludes non-humans from the definition of an author. The office's existing registration guidance has long required works to owe their origin to a human agent. The Copyright Office cited to the case entitled in Burrow Giles Lithographic Company v. Cerrone, where the U.S. court permitted photographs to be subject to copyright as they are representatives of original intellectual conceptions of the author. The court defined an author as he to whom anything owes its origin, originator, maker, one who completes a work of science or literature. It repeatedly referred to such authors as human, describing authors as a class of persons, and a copyright as the exclusive right of a man to the production of his own genius or intellect. The Copyright Office also cited the Ninth Circuit Court of the United States case entitled Urantia Found. V. Kristen Mahara, which held that a book containing words, authored by non-human spiritual beings, can only qualify for copyright protection if there is human selection and arrangement of the revelations. It also cited the case, Naruto v. Slater, which held that a monkey cannot register a copyright in photos it captures with a camera because the Copyright Act refers to an author's children, widow, grandchildren, and widower terms that all imply humanity and necessarily exclude animals. Application of the Human Authorship Requirement The policy guidance stated that when evaluating works containing AI-generated material, the office examines the extent of human authorship and the creative control exercised by humans. It asks whether the work is basically one of human authorship, with the computer, or other device, merely being an assisting instrument, or whether the traditional elements of authorship in the work, literary, artistic, or musical expression or elements of selection, arrangement, etc., were actually conceived and executed not by man but by a machine. To be clear, the office stated the answer will depend on the circumstances, particularly how the AI tool operates and how it was used to create the final work, stating that this is necessarily a case-by-case -case inquiry. If the traditional elements of authorship were solely produced by a machine, the work lacks human authorship and cannot be registered. For example, when an AI technology receives solely a prompt from a human and produces complex written, visual, or musical works in response, that the traditional elements of authorship are determined and executed by the technology, not the human user. They said in these instances, these prompts function more like instructions to a commissioned artist, they identify what the prompter wishes to have depicted, but the machine determines how those instructions are implemented in its output. On the other hand, a human may select or arrange AI-generated material in a sufficiently creative way that the resulting work as a whole constitutes an original work of authorship. Or an artist may modify material originally generated by AI technology to such a degree that the modifications meet the standard for copyright protection. 
In these cases, copyright will only protect the human-authored aspects of the work, which are independent of and do not affect the copyright status of the AI-generated material itself. Guidance for Copyright Applicants The U.S. Copyright Office has stated that applicants have an affirmative duty to disclose the inclusion of AI-generated content in their works. Creators must use the standard application, and in it identify the authors, and provide a brief statement that describes the authorship that was contributed by a human. AI-generated content that is more than de minimize should be explicitly excluded from the application. Applicants who have already submitted applications may need to correct their information through supplementary registration. Implications and Future Developments The guidelines issued by the Copyright Office shed light on the question of human authorship in works created with the assistance of AI technology. While the guidelines provide clarity on the distinction between human and AI-generated authorship, it's essential to consider the implications of this distinction. First, it's important to recognize that AI technology is advancing rapidly, with the ability to generate increasingly sophisticated and creative works. As AI systems become more capable, the line between human and AI contributions may become blurrier. The guidelines, as they stand, acknowledge the need for human authorship but will likely require periodic updates to accommodate evolving AI capabilities. Furthermore, the guidelines raise questions about the allocation of rights and responsibilities in AI-generated works. If AI contributes substantially to a work, should it be recognized as a co-author or receive some form of legal recognition? One possibility is to introduce a separate category of copyright protection for AI-generated works. This category could establish a legal framework that recognizes AI's creative capabilities while still protecting the rights and interests of human creators. Another option is to revisit the concept of joint authorship, where AI and human authors are acknowledged as co-authors in works they create collaboratively. This approach would require careful consideration of the specific contributions made by each party and the extent of their creative input. Lastly, ongoing public discourse and engagement are crucial in shaping the future of AI-related authorship. Soliciting input from stakeholders, including creators, technologists, legal experts, and the general public, can help identify potential challenges and devise appropriate solutions. In conclusion, the United States Copyright Office's Statement of Policy on Works Containing AI-Generated Material establishes guidelines for copyright registration in this emerging area. It underscores the role of human authorship in copyright protection and provides direction for copyright applicants. Stay tuned as we closely follow further developments and their impact on the copyright landscape. Thank you for joining us on this legal journey into the world of AI-generated works and copyright registration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. If you have any questions or thoughts on this topic, please leave a comment below. Stay informed, stay curious, and keep exploring the fascinating world of NFTs and IP law with us at the Web3 IP Lawyer channel. Thank you and see you next time.